Hey there, welcome back to the channel, Creatively Sandra. If you are new here, I'm Sandra. Thanks for joining us. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for uh, coming back and hanging out with me today. Today I'm opening a Bippity box. And if you are not familiar with Bippity, it is a monthly mystery box subscription. It can be Disney themed. They also have Harry Potter, Marvel, a couple other fandoms. And um, there's a preferences list and a wish list that you get to fill out extensively. There's items you can choose or ask for in your box and it's not a guarantee you'll get them, but they're pretty good about getting you some of the things you, you ask for and want. So let's dive in. I have just taken the wrapper off. It came with a um, plastic wrap and it came early. This is my January box. I'm gonna pull this off, um, this wrapping outside. It's still kind of a Christmas theme. So I'm sure they are, you know, just still feeling seasonal, using up the Christmas items, all of that good stuff. So I'm game here for it. I don't remember what I put on my wish list. They did have um, quite a few Christmas Jim Shores. Um, but they had a couple of ornaments that were pretty interesting. I know I put some of those. I'm not really sure what else. It's been a little while. So let's just see. I get the Ultimate Magic Box, which is $119 value at least. But it's always over that value. And so I've got a, um, not cheat sheet, a invoice, whatever, <laughs> that tells me what's in there. This is small. Interesting. Um, so this is what I'm seeing inside the box. Uh, a lot of the stuff, a lot of times they put it in a uh, plastic drawstring bag, which is reusable, which is nice. Ooh, that feels like a book or something. So um, this is what I'm seeing so far. There is a book or something and it's a small bag, small box. Good things come in small packages. Like I said, they have all, they have different fandoms. They also have different levels of boxes, so you can choose, um, you know, all the way down to nine ninety nine for like a sticker and magnet pack, up to the one nineteen. I think they have some super size boxes as well. Still, this I bet is an ornament because it's wrapped so nicely. I can always use these bags later. And the ornaments that I looked at weren't necessarily, well, let's just, let's just open it. <gasps> it's pretty. <laughs> I am all about the ear hat ornaments now. I want them and I want them all. And so this is, I'm trying to get the ribbon out of the way. This is a frozen themed ear hat ornament. Look at that. So we've got Anna and Elsa and Olaf there. I am going to show you the back and forget all the names. Is the moose, is that Sven or is Sven the guy? I think it's the moose. Yeah, let's say it's the moose. Okay, and what are these little guys called? I don't know. Snow, um, I was about to mix them up with the little guys from Raya. I was going to say like snow geese or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember their name. I'm not a, I love Frozen. I'm not a huge Frozen fan. I don't collect anything, but I love the, um, the concept of the ear hat ornaments. And so any that I can get on, um, any theme, I want them and I'll just collect them all. And, oh, especially on sale, right? So this was in the Bippity box. Um, I don't know. We'll see what the value is after. Oh, it says on here, $24.99. The funny part is, I think some of them are a lot bigger than others. So it's a little deceiving when you look at them online. I have another one that is like Pirates of the Caribbean, maybe. Um, that's a lot bigger. So I wasn't expecting it to be so small. But that's good. That's okay. That I can have. <gasps> okay, I'm going to save that one for a minute. I've got another organza bag. So I suspect this is another ornament. And like I said... I checked a few of them as something I would like, and I'm sure they were prepared to, you know, get rid of the inventory of Christmas ornaments. That's why they put it there. So that was fine by me. Let's see what this one is. Oh, this one is, oh, I did put this on my wish list. This one is Little Mermaid. Okay, it's not an ear hat. And the reason why I liked it and put it on here is because it is from the Art of Animation 
and I'm, oh, oh my gosh, look at that water. Look at the splash. Is it water or is it a flower? I don't know. I don't care. It's beautiful. It's like rainbow. That's very cool. And look at um, Ariel on all her sparkly goodness of her tail there. And then you've got Flounder with her. You've got Sebastian. And you've got, I guess this is like, oh, it's supposed to be like a paint tube. <gasps> That's what it is. Okay. <laughs> So what's coming out of this is this big splash that looks like a flower or a water, but it is a giant paint splatter coming out of the bottle. The cover of the bottle is here and then the paintbrush here. So you guys know by the name of my channel, Creatively Sandra, that I'm all about anything that's crafty, crafty and artsy and not artsy like formal art and really good art, crafty art that's like I made it <laughs> handmade um, by the way if you didn't see my video um, that aired on Thursday for the Bugs Life collaboration go watch that I got a little crafty with making some ears and their resin ears and I just had a lot of fun with it so check that out okay that one was also marked as nope that was $22.99 and these are Disney parks so when you get a item in your bibbity box and it is from the parks they put one of these pink stickers on it and that makes you feel kind of good because it's if you're someone who can't get to the parks very often um me i i like to go as much as i can but the reality is we can't get there very often and so um it's nice to get things that came from the park you know there's also sometimes you get things that came from that you could get on shop disney or maybe went to the outlets. What is this? Oh, ooh, this is a pin. Now this I saw, and not because I collect it, but I thought it would make a really good trader. Um, I'm not sure yet what I'll do with it if I will trade, but it is a Christmas pin. It might be from a previous year. Um, let's see. It is a limited edition pigment pin. I'm going to find my glasses. I don't see the date. I think it's on this little star guy. So there is figment in the ornament. That's very cute. And then it has this dangle element, which is a snowflake. And I believe that's where it says the year. Holy, well, we hang on. Let's put the glasses on and find out. Hmm. No, it doesn't have a year. It says Epcot. I don't see a year on there, and I don't see a year on the um, pin itself or the card. So, interesting. Let's pull it off the pin back, the backer card, and see. Oh, okay. So, this says limited edition of 2500 I still don't see a year. Tell me, was this this year's or last year's? Those of you who know. Or maybe another year. I kind of think it was this year. I'm not sure though, but it's very cute. Figment, love that. And it says Epcot on the um, snowflake. And then the back has your Mickey waffling. And it even has it on the back of the snowflake as well. Very cool. So we're like almost to the end of January and the Christmas items are still coming in, but that's fun. Like I said, this is, I think it's been here for two weeks, maybe. It came super early, which is unusual. But if you fill out your wish list early, you, you're among like the first to ship the box out. So very nice. Let's see what else we got. So we do have some kind of a book and I think I know what this is. Oh, there's more. All right, I'm gonna pull the book thing out first. This is Learn to Draw Winnie the Pooh, How to Draw Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, and More. And this excites me. <laughs> I recently found um, a Learn to Draw book that is the like Fab Five or Sensational Six that I apparently bought years and years ago. And I was pulling out some books in an old box that I had stored away for when I have grandchildren and I have grandchildren. And I pulled it out and found that drawing book and that was very exciting. I got that on a trip to Disney when, or when I came back from Disney, but based on 
having gone there with my kids when they were 10 and 13 or or 12 and 15, something like that. But with one of my twins, we went and did the art of animation where they teach you to draw. And so we drew Goofy and that was a lot of fun. I did it just this year or last year in 2022 in December or November when I went and we drew um, Flash from Zootopia and that was super fun. So I like that idea. I think it's fun. Um, I, you know, I'm not an artist by any means to, to hand draw something, but I can, I can trace, I can follow directions. I can probably do something like this and draw it in the square and then maybe repeat it. So simple stuff, but, um, yeah, not an artist, but I love art and I love the, um, doodling and drawing. So I don't see the price on this one. We'll find out when we look at the, um, the invoice but that's pretty cool drawing basic shapes so and that's how they did it at Disney too when you go to the art of animation if you haven't had a chance to do that you should try it it's super fun it's it's mostly video now like before somebody was actually present and did it but um <gasps> look at this <gasps> I love it this is a good box <laughs> wow okay it's up it's Carl and Ellie in their living room, in their little chairs, and it is a postcard art from um, the Wonderground Gallery. So it says, original artwork of My Greatest Adventure by artist Gabby Zapata. Also from the parks. Was this one? Most of this stuff is from the parks. Very cool. I'm going to have to frame that and add that to my up display. If you haven't seen that, I um, posted that earlier in the week, maybe on Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, I'll link both videos down below. The, um, the one that has me making the ears for Bugs Life and the up background. So I'm still working on it, but I did a, you know, early reveal. All right. So that is awesome. There was, I think, just one more item in here. And I'm very excited about it because I've wanted these for quite a while. And they came back on the wish list. I think they had gone off. I had asked for it a long time ago. They came off and now they were back. And they are these ears. These are so cute. I can't remember what they're called. So, like, I don't know if it was Disney Park Friends or something like that. But look who's on it. So you've got Minnie... You've got Peter Pan, Buzz Lightyear. I'm trying to sneak around. Um, I forget this guy, this bird. I'm not sure what he's from. You got the green alien. You've got on this side, we've got some Mickey balloons. We've got Mickey. We've got a castle. We've got my boy, the Mad Hatter. More Mickey balloons, Darth Vader. And then on this side, we've, oh, Wow, those are almost the same on the back. There, we've got the Hitchhiking Ghosts, Winnie the Pooh, Dopey, more Mad Hatter, and Darth Vader. These are so fun and Buzz Lightyear. I love the color. They are lounge fly ears, so they're pretty comfortable. Um, I think maybe the ones I have on are lounge fly. The Pixar ones are lounge fly. I wore that to match my cool Pixar sweatshirt. Um, but yeah, this is, these are super fun. I love all the characters on it. I never got the bag. I want the bag to match it. And oh my goodness, look at this blue. That is stunning. I am having to reach way down here <laughs> for you guys to see them. But look at the blue sequence. That's beautiful. I need a blue sequence bag, I think. That's stunning. But I would love to get the bag of this if it like comes back or is in the parks or goes on shop Disney. Um, that's one I would try to get. That's fun. Okay. That's awesome. All right. So we got a drawing book. We've got ears. We've got a cool postcard. We've got pins and we've got ornaments. Let's take a look at our spoiler sheet. That's the word I was looking for. Okay. So the spoiler sheet. Oh, now I have no ears on. Let's put these back. Okay. All right, what's inside? So, my box was curated with love by Becky. Thank you, Becky, you did awesome. I have the Disney Parks Chibi Ears, Disney Park 
Loungefly Parks Chibi Ears for $39.99. Then we have the Wonderground Gallery postcard of My Greatest Adventure. Love, love, love this. I always love the Wonderground Gallery postcards. And that is valued at $6.99. The Disney Parks exclusive Frozen Ever After Ear Hat Ornament from Epcot is $24.99. The Disney Winnie the Pooh Learn to Draw, draw, <laughs> where did that come from? Learn to Draw is um, $14.99. <laughs> and Disney Parks exclusive Figment Trading Pin, Gingerbread Limited Edition, oh, it's 2022. So it is this year. It says that right here. Limited edition of 2500 is 19.99 and then the Disney Parks exclusive Art of Animation Resort Ariel and Friends ornament is 22.99. Okay, this has got to go near my art themed stuff. Okay, if anybody knows how I can get my hands on um there is the Mickey artists, like the little stuffed animals that are at, uh, what's the the newest, one of the newer resorts, the big one, um, fancy one. Ooh, I just forgot the name. But the, um, wow. I can't think of it. I almost think it's with an R. But anyway, at that resort, they have um, great restaurant and Mickey and Minnie are, it's like, Curry and he's an artist and I don't even remember what she is. I don't mind care, but his whole outfit is um, like an art smock, a painter's. I think he has a beret on and oh, it's super cute. I need that. And when I went, I did try to go there mm, maybe in 2021. I don't know. But anyway, they didn't have it at the time. So I'll be looking for it. So super cute. All right, let me guys, let me guys, what is going on today? Sorry about that. Um, let me know what you liked in the box and what was your favorite item? One of the ornaments, the pin, the ear hat, the ears, um, postcard or the drawing book. I'm very excited to go play with that. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. If you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and give me a like that really helps me out but go ahead and comment and let me know what you like or are you getting bippity boxes i'd love to hear um and i always love seeing what comes in other people's boxes as well thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one